a school setting these days, children as young as year one are being exposed to digital tablets. These digital tablets, in my opinion, can play a very valuable role if introduced and implemented in a way that supplements and facilitates the children's education. However, when it comes to mobile smartphones, I really do not see the value nor understand the need for them to be allowed for use at any point in time during school hours and in a school environment. And that's for a variety of reasons. The first being the lack of concentration and the distraction that a mobile phone will cause in a classroom setting. The second is, if you look at any of the research, is the deterioration we see in academic performance in the students. The third being the isolation socially of a student that is overusing the phone. Mobile smartphones often act as a platform for cyberbullying. The misuse of phones, either through taking videos or photos in settings such as classrooms, changing rooms, toilets, gyms, so forth, can really lead to very unfavorable outcomes. And so based on this, when we look at countries that have banned or enforced strict controls in mobile phones, such as China, France, Australia, just to name a few, we've seen a direct improvement in academic performance, but also a decline in bullying. And this is the sort of outcome we wanna see across the board. Now, when it comes to technology, it's gonna be an essential aspect of every student's life and we have to accept that. But what I think is important is not only enforcing controls, but also education. And as parents, I think it's very important that it starts with us, that we model the behavior that we want to see. I, when I come to think of my children, I sometimes feel that it was good that they have phones with them in school, but my kids' school also does not allow phones. But at times I kind of prefer that they have phone with them, but uh, maybe not a smartphone, but a phone that they can use for communicating, uh, just a normal phone with a SIM that can be used only for conversations, not taking pictures or not taking any WhatsApp or digital or social media, but just a phone could help uh, but again, the children has to be taught to be prudent or to use those uh, phone or more be more responsible with these technologies. Uh, times are different. When I grew up, things were different. The today's age is different. So yeah, I would today I would think that a, a normal phone, not a smartphone, uh, or some way of communicating with the child is important. I must say kudos to Holland for what they've done by curbing cell phones in the classroom. They do not belong there. I think that that law could not be more strict. I am in total agreement with it. In fact, I often leave mine uh, and I get in trouble with my, with my wife for leaving it at home because there are times when I need to simply get away and not be bothered and not be influenced and not be on and on and on. So. School, especially our kids, I think we're very fortunate that they're not too addicted to video games and everything else that these devices can be used for. And we try, my wife and I, uh, make an effort to keep our kids away from it and give them other options uh, away, away from their phone. Nothing infuriates me more than being out to dinner and seeing a table of four and they're all on their cell phone. Nobody's talking to talking to each other. So again, kudos to Holland and I hope more countries will follow suit. Uh, ban on the use of electronic devices in the classroom except for under certain circumstances. I have to say that as a parent I do agree with that decision. Mobile phones in the classroom can cause um, unnecessary distractions that can negatively impact uh, academic performance. Banning or controlling the use of mobile phones in the classroom can foster a respectful and focused uh, learning environment. Um, and similar to the etiquette uh, of not using mobile phones during social gatherings, it can generally be expected that students should prioritize um, their attention on educational activities taking place in the classroom. Um, by setting clear boundaries and expectations regarding the use of electronic devices, students are encouraged to develop discipline and self-regulation skills, which are great skills to acquire. In my own opinion, I believe that giving my children and my kids a phone is really um, wasting his time. Uh, he has less skills of communication, so I prefer always to move him to, to encourage him in his skills such as 
physical skills such as swimming, art, so many things. I'm really against that. It's kids are prepared to be banned at a certain age. Maybe when they go to schools later on, they're going to be more used to it and using it in proper way.